I'm Erin Chappell. I'm a partner group program manager in the server and cloud division. And uh, my team is responsible for the core management infrastructure in Windows Server and the overall user experience of the server. I just really love working on servers because they're complicated problems. And when you can solve them in a simple way, then you can have such an impact on, our, and on the IT professionals and what they need to do in their environment. One of the big shifts in this release is from focusing on a single server and being the best operating system we can for that single server to being the best operating system for multiple servers and the devices that connect them. And that really is the foundation of being a cloud operating system. It's up-leveling that abstraction to not be just about a single server, but to be about the servers in my environment. What I can do is I can have a single console, I can come in in the morning as, as an IT pro, boot it, I load server manager, um, and see the status of my entire environment. Um, so I no longer need to switch between different, different views, different consoles, remote desktop into those different machines. It's very easy to think of a world in which the IT pro just needs to sit there and do the same tasks over and over and over again. And we really want to get them out of that day-to-day -day task performance and, and into a position where they're contributing more to the business and they're thinking about solving problems that have more of an impact on the business and the bottom line of that organization. Then we need to think about, okay, well, how do they reduce risk and take risk out of the system? And that really is through automation and our automation layer. Our automate by scripting tasks and allowing people um, to have a consistent way in which they perform them, it just reduces um, the errors that happen in the environment. We've heard from our customers in the past that PowerShell can be a little intimidating. I can encapsulate what I want to do into a script so that it can be done in a repeatable way. Um, I can version that script, I can have a repository of that script for my environment so that people are doing the same tasks in a consistent way. And then making sure that we do have a great user experience um, that is layered on top of that automation so that you can learn automation over time but that you can still fall back to using great um, user experience, great tools to be able to accomplish your job. It's really those three pieces uh, that make up what we've, what we've done in this release. I love to get great feedback about my product. When i at a trade show like TechEd and somebody comes up and says, oh, this feature was just amazing, that's great. But I love to hear what's wrong even more because that's actionable. It's something that we can go do and go fix in the next release. Having talked to hundreds of customers, we could come up with a set of representative scenarios that really encapsulated what our customers need to do. And so you know, when we have, uh, we bring customers into the Engineering Excellence Center and we watch them you know, adopt our new technology and, and work through what it takes to actually uh, achieve something they're trying to do in their in their own environment, and when they can do that in a in a in a delightful way, and they it makes sense and it logically flows. There's just an energy that comes into the team. If you're not ready to take that first step with Windows Server 2012 right now, we actually have a Windows Management Framework uh, version 3.0 that encapsulates all the greatness that we've added to PowerShell 3.0 and the new version of uh, WMI and W management and it takes it down level so you can actually download that in your existing environment and play around with that to start to get your toes wet so to say in the new management features that we have in Windows Server 2012 and learn that and all that learning will then apply directly as you move and adopt Windows Server uh, 2012 in your environment. The biggest word of encouragement that I could give you is to just get involved. And that could start by being something as simple as going out and reading our team blog, and then to get take that one next one step further, um, reach out. We have a lot of user groups in the various different cities, both within North America and around the world. There are plenty of people who are willing to help in the community, and that that helps us as a product team really understand how people are using the product and feed that into what we want to do in the next version. The number one reason people replace their windows is energy efficiency, and Pella proudly makes some of the best energy efficient windows on the market. The ordering process is extremely complicated. We're a just-in-time manufacturer and we operate on fixed lead times. Technology is critical. It's all about making sure that our products are built correctly, ordered correctly, delivered correctly. There are thousands and millions of combinations, so accurate information is extremely critical for us to satisfy our customers. 
continuous improvement at Pella is prevalent in all parts of our organization. Um, you're going to find it in manufacturing, you're going to find it in, in marketing, you're going to find it in IT. Although we've been extremely successful with VMware, we needed to go beyond virtualization. We really needed to look at a solution that was far more expansive, really focused on our services, and really gave us a much more robust solution set. Last winter, we were approached by Microsoft to have a partner come in and help us do an evaluation. One of our concerns with switching to Hyper-V was just the unknown of Hyper-V compared to where we were comfortable with VMware. So having that partner come in from Firesoft who could talk about both solutions was extremely valuable. One of the real benefits that Firesoft brought to the table was an automated process, virtual machine migration tool. That was a tool to help us so we didn't have to do a lot of heavy lifting, a lot of manual intervention to get from VMware to Hyper-V. We're a lean organization, so that automation was extremely valuable to me and helped me in making that decision to make the switch. From a physical host perspective, we were looking at about 50 physical hosts and around 650 virtual machines hosted across those physical servers. Migrating to Microsoft Hyper-V is actually going to provide many different benefits to us. It's going to allow our entire team now to focus on the virtualization infrastructure instead of just a small select group of individuals who are focused on VMware. We have the same tools, the same interface, everything will integrate better with System Center and allow us to manage things with one pane of glass, one interface that's familiar to the entire team. We've obviously been fighting through a very tough economy, and as our business continues to grow, we need to continue to find ways to drive efficiency. Some of the most critical business systems for us do run on Hyper-V. With the Microsoft Private Cloud Solution, we want to take all of these distributed systems scattered about the country, bring it back to our corporate data centers, and serve up those solutions to those organizations so they can stay focused on selling and servicing windows and doors and not be in the business of IT.